Okay, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to uh, clean up some of the uh, files in your uh, Android. And uh, it works really good. I mean, I, I noticed a lot of people use Advanced Task Killer to, uh, to uh, save battery, but I don't know if that does a good job because a lot of apps start back up. And by no means is this a perfect solution, but what it can do is you can actually uh, stop things from starting up once you reboot your phone and things like that. So uh, you're going to need the Android Assistant application. So uh, I'm going to click on the market and show you where you can install it. Okay, from your home page, you want to just hit search. And I actually have pre searched for it, so just hit Android Assistant. And it's the top one right here. And if you look down here, it's over 5 million people have downloaded it, so it must be pretty good uh, as far as that goes. Uh, so once I installed it, you want to open it up. Okay, this is the main screen. It basically tells you like the health of your phone, your memory, pretty much all the specs of your phone. Uh, at the bottom, you can give it a quick boost. What it does is just ends apps, kind of like a task killer, and uh, that's a really good you know point to free up memory in your device. Uh, and then the second thing is process. This tells you everything that's processing that you're in your phone right now. You can select different apps. Uh, and then just hit kill right there and it'll kill those apps just like uh, any other task killer. The trick to this one is tools. When I click on that, you actually have a lot of tools, you know, volume control. So, you know, for new people who don't know how to control that, you can change everything there. You can hit ringer so you can change your, uh, your ringers in your phone, like uh, silent vibration mode. You can see the screen there. You can save battery, and this is where you can disable certain things like the, I guess even the feedback, the vibration can save it. I know battery, uh, the brightness is a big battery killer, so you can dim that down as you need it, and you can kind of change that around. And that, if you notice at the very bottom, you have where you can turn off your Wi-Fi, your uh, navigation, your syncing, you can put in airplane mode and Bluetooth. Now here's where you can get the most uh, the most power of your phone is by clearing up temporary files that don't that you don't use anymore. So just hit cache cleaner, and it's just like a PC. It'll actually build up these little memories of little things you use all the time. And I'm just going to hit clean all. So right there, you know, it freed up a little bit of kilobytes. And let's hit the back. Next thing is system clean. If you click on that, uh, again, it can clean up little system uh, things that are just queuing in your phone. And then I'll hit back again. File management is where you can actually see files in your phone. Uh, and that's not really a big point, but for those who want to see what files are in their phone, it's definitely something you can do. Uh, batch installer so if you had stuff loaded up on your memory card you can actually select them all and, and upload them right to your phone uh, we have to do uh, any downloading from the market but again that's for stuff that you already had before on your memory card I uh, don't need that uh, uninstall batch so let's say you uh, want to uninstall a bunch of stuff on your device that uh, you just don't use anymore uh, it's good to do that uh, from time to time because I know uh, people recommend a lot of apps to me. I download a lot of them, but some I just don't use. I just do like a little test on them. But I can go over here and I can click on the ones that are not from Verizon on this particular phone, and I can uninstall those applications. Uh, but if you uh, you have everything in your phone just like you need it, you can just leave that one alone. The next thing is the startup manager. I think this helps quite a bit because what you can do is you can check everything on your phone that you don't want to start up and when you reboot your phone it'll give you option to force close it so um, unlike a task killer it a lot of times stops things from starting right away uh, system over here I wouldn't mess with this too much unless you're a little more advanced because you could shut down things that make your phone work uh, a little weird there 
and hit back and then battery use this tells you where all the energy has been used on your phone right at the current time um, you know you have calendars you got all these little things in here that you can uh, that you can uh, um, uh, kill for a quick boost but don't need to do that for this video but you can play around with that see if you like it um, system information uh, this is not really used for many people but if you just want to see what kind of phone you have like if you notice here I have a Droid X2 uh, and this tells all the software that's in my phone I can look at the hardware again this is stuff that uh, most person most people won't even mess with but just at least know you know it's there so I guess it's pretty good I'm hit back again and this is a uh, one that works really good too is called app to SD a lot of times if you have a low memory settings uh, some of the beginning Android phones didn't have a lot of built-in memory so this is a way you can move apps to your SD card now mind you that not all application can be moved but if you uh, something you don't use every day you just want to get extra storage on your phone you can definitely uh, use this to move things from your SD card uh, this shows the things are movable this shows the thing on your phones that are movable movable over to the memory card so and I'm gonna hit back and then the last thing is app backup and restore so a common thing is when you change Androids at this point until a better synchronization gets in uh, this is a good way you can back up all your apps to your memory card and then if you have to change phones or something weird you can install this app again hit restore it'll show all the apps that you installed before and then you can uh, restore it back to uh, the factory settings now note if you started like uh, Angry Birds and you was on like the 15th level uh, unless your phone is rooted it will not uh, be able to save those settings so uh, that's pretty straightforward and uh, this is a Android assistant and I hope it helps you out and that if you have any kind of like force closes and weird things like that happen to your Android device this can definitely clean up some of those cache memories and, and things of that nature so Thanks a lot for watching my video and I hope it helps you out and you have a great day.